True Love Bright Baby ね。うん、Bright Daily Through All Season。ナマステファミリー。Please see Attached Report。Okay. So, True Love Culture Day, Every Couple Ministry International Day of Peace, Reaching the Ancestral Divide and Marriage in Dedication Celebration Ceremony, held on September 14, and hosted at Every Oasis, Petersburg, Virginia, New Eden Garden. To God is all the glory. Also, I added, I am a husband. So grateful, everyone, to celebrate our anniversary together.、Uh, your gift, your love, uh, uh, your uh, participation、uh, made a so joyful occasion.、Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. We、yeah, are so uh, dearly uh, love you. <laughs> yeah, and continue. We continue to cherish it. The divine presence within all as we come together weekly to shine on as one true human family in God's love together, transcending all illusional, illusional deep idea. Oh, welcome to join Heavenly Fun Friendship Unite. And nourishes all. Today's central scripture、uh, The greater works of true love belief cannot do. Okay,、um, I don't know what's the term, sorry. Shine on together, transcendental togetherness in heaven on earth. The greater works of true love belief cannot do. Belief cannot do.、Okay. This centering scripture, John chapter 16, verse 13. However, when He, the Spirit of truth, has come, He will guide you into all the truth. For He will not speak on His own authority, but whatever He hears, He will speak. And he will tell you things to come. And Takari, yeah, chapter four, verse six. So he answered and said to me, This is the word of the Lord, Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. As always, let your light. You are so shy. The Namaste Christ like within. Joy is all we need to know. Okay, in my other bio, put some link we can review later. We have a wonderful、uh, video. May gratitude lead the way as we cherish God's presence. Around and within all things, people, places, and situations. Namaste. Be more. Be more. Be more. Thank you. And Namaste. You, you、um, yoked with that、um, recipe so beautifully. And now we are going to. Prayerfully、um, share more of those scriptures again,、um, centering on today's theme.、Um, the theme, I believe, is a very beautiful theme.、Um, how we allow ourselves to shine、uh, more together,、um, letting the true family life shine on. And it's, it's quite important that we um, help um, our family, which is the world.、Um, And those are, who are more closer to us、um, to transcend、um, any illusionary um, um, divisive belief systems,、um, educational systems, also belief systems,、um, any, anything that wants to over separate us.、Um, but we should also encourage our uniqueness. This is where this 
um, topic, this theme today, we should encourage our uniqueness, our unique, what um, I love, Father Sun Young Moon derived the word called, or from the divine principle called our unique truth bodiness, our unique truth bodiness. Um, much as we are all um, humans, um, by what we can see, um, we also um, present unique characteristics that um, may have a same common base. And we always use, again, our fingers, uh, our, our hair, our limbs, especially our fingers, as that good um, analogy um, to demonstrate that. Everybody has maybe six, five fingers, some have six, but we all have fingers. But all of us have unique fingerprints, very unique. The only way many times without visuals, there's sometimes even visuals, twins, they look alike, however, their prints um, becomes the only uh, unique difference. And so it is within this context, we, we want to um, revisit uh, what did Jesus really mean um, by let your light shine? What did Jesus really mean? And why did Jesus, Dr. Dr. Linda, Dr. Lewis, Dr. Baji, Dr. Nanji, and my dearest wonderful wife, um, why did Jesus not um, put a precondition? He didn't put, a, the, you know, there's kind of a precondition, but he did not put the precondition of what we, uh, what Christianity or what religion has carried as God's mantra, Jesus' mantra, which is believe, believe. Um, Jesus did not qualify the statement by saying, when you believe, your light will shine uh, and then good works will come out. Um, he prefaces that statement by saying, let, let, um, a very clear um, um, freedom, um, responsibility, freedom again, that is upon the individual. It's upon the individual at this point. Um, he's saying to you, ah, let that light that is already within, within you. And we know that light is nothing but God, the spirit, um, the spirit that governs, the spirit that animates, the spirit that creates. We say we are the temple of God. So with that background, we want to look at why we, we pray we are all able here, and not just here, and those who we pray would receive this um, beyond the circle would be encouraged to um, also say, hey, you know, um, I, I want my light to shine because it does not take away from any other person's light. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. It only allows, especially if we really let our light shine the God way, the God-like way, the way of extreme, excellent goodness, very goodness, very good way. It will always illuminate the light of others. It will always allow for more. It will not allow for less. This is very important. It will always allow for more. And wherever, again, one way you, you can, we can say, um, you know, the word a cult, a cultish place um, is when everything is, is dedicated, con concentrated on one person or one couple or one family within the context of the true family, everybody has family here. Um, and so Jesus is, is telling us exactly what God did in the beginning. Let, let that light, that truth, that excellence that is already embedded, embedded, endowed. We can use any other words. We were created, Pastor Nanji, to be exactly excellent like God is excellent. Anything short of that would be we are trying to mock God. Yes, we are mocking God. We are, we are degrading God, demoting God. We are saying what our elders who were misled were saying in those days, that nobody can be holy like God, even though Yahushua says it. Why would he guide us from day one? Not before he died, not after he died, sorry. Or, or during when he was nearing death, his early messages were very clear, very on point. They were towards us activating the essence, the essence, the beauty of our divine nature. 
that is not exclusive to persons who would say they have come to believe. Actually, unfortunately, belief has a way of dimming our true light. Belief has a way, unfortunately, of dimming. So I would want one of my great light sisters to come read. Pastor Linda, are you there? Today you can participate. I love your, your diction. You are always a light bearer as relates to um, enunciation and letting the words flow beautifully. And these are the great things about all of us. Everybody has some form of unique, um, again, fingerprint that only you can use that fingerprint to tickle God. Um, God is waiting for it. He's waiting for it, just as he's waiting for mommy, Ayano, your beautiful quietness, quietude, that 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 essence that is part of God, just like he's waiting for my boisterous joyfulness, just as he's waiting for Louis calm, slow, just all of us to tickle God um, in, in a joyful way. And so we're going to joyfully now go through this with my great sister. As Let me put it on the screen. Um, she's going to read for us what Mrs. Reed, but we want to put it within the context of, of um, again, receiving the spirit. Um, all what we are sharing to you and what many of you who would receive this outside comes through the apocalypse of religion and what the Holy Spirit will say is revealing to us. And so the, the whole truth is what we are after, not partial truth. And you will see why we press on this. Dr. Nan, Dr. Linda, home shanty home. Welcome. Can you see that? Can I test your voice and hear if you, if you, we can hear you? Um, Beautiful. Uh, home, my sister. Welcome. Could you please read for us from the work of the Holy Spirit, ma'am? The work of the Holy Spirit. But now I go away to him who sent me. And none of you ask me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they do not believe in me of righteousness because I go to my father and you see me no more of judgment because of the ruler of this world is judged. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. However, when he, the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you of things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. All things that the Father has are mine. Therefore, I said that he will take of mine and declare it to you. Amen. Aju, aho, and welcome home again. He will, she will, the spirit will take all, 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 not some, not some. Thank you, Pastor, again, our beloved sister, our mother here, divine feminine, extraordinary for um, enunciating and declaring those words, making them come alive. So we see from this beautiful narrative that was left for who? It's left for, for Jesus to fulfill? No. For us. For us. Yes, mommy. Yes, for us. This is this is this is where all this comes out of. So as our great master in the flesh is living, like any beautiful master, 
He's providing future guidance. How? They still say we are still on a trajectory. Everything is not finished. Even though you believe in me, let's, let's receive, says the Holy Spirit. Even though you believe in Jesus, I believe in Jesus. You, we all, he said, even though you believe in me, and Peter, let's use him as the chief uh, disciple. Even though you believe in me, there's still more. There's still more you should know. Truth. And not just some truth. Not just some truth. I have to, I want to release everything. Everything we say the Father, okay? These are again anthropomorphic, coded words, language that we have to employ, especially for the earlier ages of humankind as we were growing up. So now we must put, we must really understand these coded words. It's not talking about some man. The spirit is not a man. The spirit is not a man. And the spirit, again, is not a woman. As other narratives, say, well, Jesus talked about the comforter. Yes, we know he talked about the comforter. He's talking also here about he, as if it's, it's talking about some type of anthropomorphic human being that has legs and hands that will come and start teaching you. And so, so many persons somehow put themselves in there. You know, you've been stimulated. God has allowed you to know something. It does not mean you are now the Holy Spirit. It does not equate that. And so as we share these things, we begin to see clearly it is part of all truth that the Holy Spirit is revealing to all of us. We have to know, we have to round up things so that we are able to live again. The world is around, the atmosphere is round, everything moves in oscillation. So as we round up things, it has to be done through the Spirit. So if we look at this carefully and we try to um, use it again to help us elucidate more on Shining on together, transcendental togetherness is heaven right now. When we can allow every one of us to allow God, which we say the Holy Spirit, God, love, to come in spirit form, to, to be our guide. That union, which is already there, let me, let's repeat that. That union is already there. That's why Pastor Nanji can emphasize, we can emphasize that, thank God we are alive today. It is If God was not with you, with I and you, even those who died, who passed on, God is still with them. There's no way you say you go to hell, God is there. You die and you show God is there. No. So you see the omnipresence of God. But it is more activated in, we say, the ones who we see visually who have not transitioned. So God is ever present. And Jesus is trying to get our attention to this. You say, oh, yes, I'm going to die in the flesh. I'm going to leave you physically. Just like most of us will live, you know, our parents will leave us. Um, Father Moon left us. Um, Mohammed left us. I mean, oh, Buddha left. They would, it seems that is, you know, let's not get our hopes too much high that some of us would live in the flesh forever. You know, that's just another illusionary, funky teaching. No, let's, maybe it's possible, but that's not the issue. The issue is if we do the right thing by, Really letting God, the Holy Spirit, help activate by surrendering to certain clarity that has come through the years, that has somehow omitted the pulpits of many belief systems. This is power. God is trying to unleash, activate within our lives. Because what? Information is power. Let's, let's, let's. And so many persons now in their not so holy and righteousness, they hide information. Then you have to pay money for it. Yeah, they say be wise. Don't know how to be wise about that. You know, Jesus just gave us information. So how do we now use this beautiful information so that all of us shine? It's not for one person to shine. For one person to think now, oh, I know something you don't know, so you got to pay for it. No, this is part of the problem of the world. So, see, I still have many things to say to you. No one of us, no library in the world, all the books. And maybe I write another book. Maybe Dr. Lewis writes another book. Maybe Dr. Wagas, I know every, you will write more books and more books will come out and more and more and more information will keep coming out. It will keep to keep guiding us because that's the way life is infinite. 
infinite trajectory, eternal trajectory, eternal oscillation, continuous, no capping. There's no place somehow you say, oh, you've gathered all of God. <laughs> you know, this is where sorrow begins. As we're going to move to the next phase, chapter six, this is where sorrow begins. When persons think somehow in their limited dogma, in their limited dogma that fits maybe a 500 page book, they think they've captured all of God. And here comes the problem because another person has their own version, their own book, their own dogma containing that they have captured all of God. And so, People throw the book at each other. Sorry. Books that were supposed to say instruments for God to bring us together now divide us because we have not really purged ourselves of the old way of false competition. Jesus did not come that my only his light will shine. Let's get this. All of us have light. He came that we may have life. Let's put even light knowledge more abundantly if we don't understand if persons don't understand what that word is saying that he came that we may have life okay what is within life that you must have abundant okay he came that you may have health your health we say wellness your whole body be ye holy as god is holy well abundantly that means to the fullness he came that anything that is organically made that was made in God's image and likeness was very, he, he, all those things, kindness abundantly, gentleness abundantly, patience abundantly, understanding, wisdom, knowledge now abundantly, enlightenment abundantly. Repeating it here for us. We must be good stewards of these truths which we pray we have. So, but sorrow comes because again, belief systems. Persons want to no more open mind. So the more we are open, we see this is a trajectory. It's an eternal trajectory. There is no encapsulating all of God. It is the way we encapsulate God is, okay, we know that we don't know all of God. That is the way you encapsulate God. You know that you don't know all of God and you enjoy the right. This is where joy can come in, where you can turn your box in belief system that has created crisis, that is still creating crisis. When you cannot be joyful, you have crisis. That person has crisis. When somebody cannot welcome another joyfully, graciously, they just say, oh, why are, you, why are you like that today? Oh, I have, you know, something going on. Oh, this person died. Oh, you know, I, I hurt my finger. Uh, that's why people put on a frown. That's why, yeah, something is going on. That is not so healthy in their life. That is not so stimulating of the truth of God that does not transcend their, their illusionary pain, or I'm not illusionary pain, their illusionary suffering they've created for themselves. How do we transcend and shine together? It is true on leaching ourselves, helping everybody get out of the box of belief and transcending into the universe of gnosis that knows truth. So we come down here, we say sorrow will turn to joy. Isn't that what we want? The, the, the religions are set up in the world. Why are they set up? They say, oh, the world is so bad, so sorrowful, so terrible. We use all types of whatever names, the sinful world, the da da da. World. No. It's, we want to turn it around. We want to. That's the desire. That's the hope. Is that not God's hope too? Is that not God's desire that we turn this, this wicked, super wicked world around? Then, then, then what's happening? I, I thought the Bible said God created it in an instant, all goodness. We say, you know, we use the Bible um, 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 language. Say, let there be, okay, so God cannot pronounce peace again anymore? No. We come to understand it is our responsibility now because we have been created like God. We have been created like God. It is no longer this, this thing that, you know, um, God alone. I believe in God. I bought God must, God will do, God will. No, God has provided everything we need. And this is when we activate this, we see very good everywhere. We see all of God's grace everywhere in everybody. 
even that person who is still struggling, we know that God did not create them to struggle. We know God did not create them to remain in a box. So a little while you will not see me. Let me put that and make it personal for all of, all of us. We can't see each other after a while, yes. But does that mean we are not more there? We are there. Then some of these disciples said among themselves, what is this that he says to us? A little while and you will not see me. And again, a little while you will see me. Amazing. <laughs> and because he says, I go to the Father. They said, therefore, what is this that he says? A little while. We do not know what he is saying. Like many things Jesus has said through the scripture, many things that have been written again, remember the code. It's a code, 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 spiritual, in his spiritual discernment, unveiling. It does, it really does. It really, really does. Now Jesus knew that they desired to ask him. And he said to them, are you inquiring among yourselves about what I said? A little while, yes, I said a little while and you will not see me. And again, a little while, you will see me. Mm. Most assuredly, he says, I said to you that you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. Is that what's happening many times? Right now, the world is rejoicing. Some part of the world rejoicing when people are being killed. And you will be sorrowful, but your sorrow, <laughs> hallelujah, will be turned to joy. Mommy Bayo, whatever sorrow, you had will return to joy. When we Linda carry whatever sorrow, whatever it is, we will return to joy. Louis, gorgeous, whatever, whatever sorrow will turn. Baba, mommy, Nanji, which I must never forget, she will remind me. Whatever sorrow will turn to joy. Dr. Waga, same. And this is the assurance we have. This is the assurance we have. It is not conjecture. It is truth. Once you really are in union with God, once this, this your soul begins to tickle all over that you really know, even you, you, when even things are not so, so, we say, you know, gold and marble, not walking the streets of gold, you still know God is with you. So everything is going to be okay. So like a woman, when she is in labor, right, has sorrow. Because our hour has come. Wow. Yes. Pain, child labor. Ooh. But as soon as giving birth, as she, as she has given birth to the child, she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has been born into the world. Therefore, you may now have sorrow, but I will see you again. And your heart will rejoice and your joy and your joy, no one, no one, no one, no one. Pastors, brothers and sisters, my, let me get away from that word, pastors, my great friends. No one will take away that joy from you. Somebody say amen. No one will take away that joy from you. Amen. Amen. No I do. So we are grateful for where we are being led to be encouraged. There's a joy that surpasses all understanding. It is God who gives that joy. It comes through the Holy Spirit, surrendering, to, knowing that the, one of the greatest principles of life is working, that all things are working together for those who are called according to God's holy purpose. All things, not some things, all things. So this is part of the all truths. We are paying it. It's working together for what? To, to, to bring Bishop Wagas down? No. To bring Dr. Lewis down? No. To bring Bishop Nanji down? No. To bring, uh, to bring people who are seeking God down? No. And so I want to end here. Just like yesterday, we were on a platform talking about shame. Shame and shining kind of go hand in hand. God did not create us to shame us. No. God did not. God did not create us with this funky feeling that makes us want to hide. To hide. Yes, we, we should be embarrassed. We should be ashamed of things that are not right. But we should shine light on it. We should shine light on it. We should say, no, this, this is what I'm going through. If we're in an environment that allows for light, light bearers come together, we will shine light on our infirmities. We become uh, accountable to help each other. This is why I love 
places like we say NA, AA, those societies that are created, the way they shine light on their not so good path so that they may find help together. This is what we talk about. Let your light shine together. Transcendental togetherness. It's not about just when everything is going so well. No, that's easy. That's the easy part when everything is going so well. But now when you have to deal with a child's addiction, a wife's addiction, a, 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 a husband's addiction or illness or things that are somehow, you say, uh, you know, uh, just compromises the morality of God in them. Many times. That's why we hear people say it took a while to come out of the closet. We hear words like that. They are hiding their improprieties. And that's not just for sexual orientation. That's for all of life. People are hiding. They are like doing like Adam and Eve. They are ashamed and they are guilty, whichever word, or they're all the same. They are not shining light upon their, their inadequacy so that they may what? Seek help. I want to encourage us. There's nothing wrong with seeking help. That's what light does. It seeks more light. I want to know brighter. I want to know further. I want to know deeper. I don't want to just be held with one matchstick. It's limited. One candlestick is limited. It was limited, Dr. Burgess, one candlestick. Yes, it will dissipate some darkness anywhere you strike one, but it's limited. I want to help people see that when you come as a constellation, a group of stars, lights, it's brighter. This is why the world uses constellations for navigation to use for find direction, in the valley, on the sea, on land, to, to know your, where you are. It takes more light. Come together. And this is why Jesus wants us to receive the presence of the Holy Spirit fully to illuminate, another word for enlightenment, to illuminate that truth that's already inside. So let your light shine. Preach that. Go with it. Not just your light. Say, my light too. Let our light shine. We are one human family. We are seeking the true family light, the true family love light that unites all of us into God's light. One light, like the sunlight. You know where the sun, where the moon gets its light from, Mami Baya? I know you know that. Dr. Wal <laughs> Mami Nandi, I'm sure all of you know where the sunlight, where the moon gets its light from. It is the same theory, the, not theory, the same reality for I and you. The moon gets its light from where? The sun. Um, the sun. Yes, mommy. The sun. So where do I get my light from? Where do you get? Where does Bishop um, get his light? From God. From God. So it's the same light. The moonlight mm -hmm. is shining the same sunlight. Reflect. Mm -hmm. And so we are created like the moonlight to reflect mm -hmm. what? God's light. Uh, and so the sun mm -hmm. itself is reflecting God's light because God created the sun and let it mm -hmm. illuminate. So you see how beautiful it is? So mm -hmm. the more, can you imagine if there were more moons around? We would have, it would be just bright all over the place at night. So we need more reflectors, more images and likeness of God to be excited. How, how, how do you reflect if you're not excited? Excited about what God is doing in your life. If not, you somebody is telling you to oh, close your lights. You know why are you happy? Why are you excited? Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I'm just grateful. So I love you all so much. God has been good to all of more than good to every, each one of us here. We've come to eleven ten, not because we are counting the numbers, but as always, with respect to, especially those of you who come um, as as broad as as family. Um, as we enter this realm of friendship, we become more mindful and mindful, we pray, of our transcendental togetherness, uh, where we each bring something fantastic, not something, uh, no, this is all like, no, no, no. Uh, everything everybody brings um, to the family uh, illuminates, it adds more to the life. Let's wrap up. Dr. Nanji and then Dr. Um, Bodies, any words from you just to encourage the world? Um, uh, affirm or any, any words that, that, that can help for the good of the other? 
Go ahead, Pastor yeah. Lundy, and then after if Dr. Bobbis would love to, we would be grateful, and then Mommy Bayer, we can close this out. Uh, more anointing in Jesus, and Lord, continue to unction you to function. Yes, and as the Rama words of revelation comes from you to the whole wide world, it transcends in our hearts. And to others, they will go out there and just also tell them what the word we are. We are the light of God and the light of the world. And uh, everywhere we go, we need to shine the light. As you say, children of God should not be ashamed. And uh, where you go, shine the light. Speak of, speak of God. You know, let the Holy Spirit talk to you and you talk to the people because it dwells in us. Everything is us is the Holy Spirit. And so without the Holy Spirit, we can't do anything. So through the Holy Spirit, that's what everything has been manifested. So that's why we are here. But we're brought in by the Holy Spirit. Jesus himself was taken in by the Holy Spirit. So we just thank God for the Holy Spirit that uh, is our comforter. As you say, it's not a man or a woman that will come and comfort you. It's our chairman. It's our controller. Mm. So he is everything. We give him names, you know. Yes. Just to appreciate the Holy Spirit for what he does. Just as you say, many church, many, many house of worship or where people fellowship, they only talk about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. They don't forget about the Holy Spirit. Mm. So without the Holy Spirit, how would Jesus function? Mm. Without, Speak, sister. Without the Holy Spirit, how we how do we come to this mm. world? Huh? Who do we serve? Who do we love while we don't see? It? God is a, mm. is a spirit, you know? Yes, so if we don't know that the Holy Spirit is everything that we do, we cannot go anywhere without asking the Holy Spirit, take me this way. Have, have control in my life. You know, go as I'm going to this interview, you are the one to take absolute control. Yes, Speak for me, through me, and then the people listen your voice through me. Mm. And they answer me. And when you go, they say you got a job. Just as you say, you know, when people speak, they use the words in the back, I mean the, the words in the, in the scripture, they, they put it in a different way. As you say, be be less, is be more, you know. So sometimes we forget that when you say, I'm going to look for a job. When you're going to look, you can't see it. Mm. So I'm going to work. I'm going to work. So when it's you go ready. there and you have an interview application, they will give you work to work. Hallelujah. What are you looking for? You want you look, look, you don't they don't give it to you because you say, I'm going to look for work. Mm. Yeah. I'm going okay. to work. Brother, I pray we all listen. This is pay attention yes. to the every word coming through. This is power, yes. power at our teams. Very simple. Continue, Pastor. Yeah, say, I'm going to work. I'm going to work. And when you reach there, you bring the application. Say, oh, what are you come here? Come to work. Oh, for real? Yes, we have this opening. Are you ready for interview? Yes. Immediately you got a job. Mm -hmm. Or you're asking God for God. God, give me a man. Give me a woman. Oh, a man of my own. A woman of my own. If you don't use the word very good man and a good woman and good man, mm -hmm. what happens? Mm -hmm. The one that will batter you like a tam, -tam of Africa. Mm -hmm. Then you say, oh, Father, give me money. How much money? Billions. Mm. Don't say money. If you give one dollar, one cent, say is that all? Oh my God! I was thinking that you give me more. Did you ask more? You mm. just say give me money. Money can be five cents. Mm. It can be a penny. That's money. So we have to ask God as the Holy Spirit leads us in truth in what you actually ask in direction. What do we do when we write our mails? We put our address. If you put the wrong address, will it come there? No, it goes somewhere else. Yeah. So that's why you have to put the address, the zip code, the apartment door, or the number of the building. Because when it comes there and have the street or the, the, the flat, then your mail will come to your house or your pastor will come to your house. It's the same way when we read the scripture, we're asking God when we pray as the Holy Spirit lead us, ask him in the right manner. Yes. And that's how you receive them according to his will. Because Anna said, Father, give me a son. And I will, I will give it back to you. Mm. And the son was given to Anna. And mm. Anna never said too long to say, let me go first and pamper my child before I offer it to God. Mm. Immediately, he said, Father, this is for you. This yeah. is your own. I give it back to you. That's why you see in Africa, I don't know what they do in America. When a child is born, is delivered, we just take the child and lift it up to God. Yeah. So we are presenting back to the Father. Yeah. You know, we facing the sunrise of the say, east, the eastward. We yeah. lift it up to say, Father, we thank you. This is your son that you're giving unto us, and your child, the child you're giving unto us. We are happy. A so new, a new, a new, just to add to that, a new light bearer, a new light. Yes. You know, that yes. we, we offer, he said, This is your light. We receive it. That's mm -hmm. exactly what it is. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. Uh -huh. So, Father Bayer, we thank God for that uh, that, that uh, scripture of the Holy Spirit because we are the one to go and tell the story because Jesus asked us to go out there and spread the word. Mm. 
Amen. The Holy Spirit should lead us to go yes. and tell the world what is it all about. Yes. Because I was listening to one man today say, we say myself and I, but what did the Father do? The prayer say, our Father. Yes. Our, my, our, we, we, mm -hmm. we have to be talking about us, we. Yes, our, 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 my, 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 my father, your father, oh, me, myself, and I know our father, <laughs> our bud, our, our brethren. Oh, this is my child. No, you didn't be a child by yourself, our child. Amen. That God has blessed us with because children come from God, right? Yeah. You don't say, My child, <laughs> what you're asking for, God will not bless that child. Say, God, this is your son, this is your daughter you gave to me. Mm -hmm. So I turn it back to you. You have their lives, so you control them. You do what you have to do. So you will see those drugs that are addicted, they will not go into it as much. But he said, this is my child. Oh, my son, my daughter, my this. You see, things delay. Why? Because you take the glory from God. That's Ooh. all your child. Brothers and sisters, child. I want you to, I, I, we, we want to do more class. This words again, as again, just to help, you know, um, 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 I want the person to really understand what has been said and what will continue to be said. In the beginning was the words. That we have to understand what we articulate. It's so important. It is, as Jesus again puts it in another session, we let people see clearly. Jesus said, the words I speak to you are what? Spirit. And so if our words are not clear as personality is making it, if that's why the Spirit talks about clarity. Clarity, yes, it, it means understanding with your clarity. Once our articulation is clear, your life changes. It changes because it will produce exactly as it's been destined and designed to. Pastor Nanji, you have released so much amazing unveiling that it is so needed. Um, our is the statement us is the statement that is needed more. Follow Jesus, you can't go wrong. He never said, my father. It's so important. This, that, that, this is what he said we should model. He said, this is how you should live your life. It's not just talking about pray, talk. This is how you should live your life. Start with our. Everything is ours. It's not one person. There's no only son, only daughter. Oh, I have my daughter. No, Pastor Nandi, you bless more and more of our souls today. Father, Father, Father. But, and one last thing you see yes, when we're in the gathering, yes, it's always good to read when you see the Bible. When you say I, mm. we put it us, even the Psalms. When people read mm. I, when you I know it's written in the in, the, in the, that line, but when you are in the gathering, mm. put it personalized. You say we, us, mm. when there's I, them, us, mm. you know, mm. you see how it flows, then the people will be capturing it, just transcending in their body, in their spirit, in their soul. In the heart, they say, wow, they will understand as you are reading and going along. You know, you intercepting us, we, me, not, not just say me, I, no. Say, so I will bless the Lord. Say, we will bless the Lord at all times. Yeah. And his face will continue to be in our mouth when yeah. we are reading in a gathering. And yeah. when you're by yourself, yes, read it as it's written in that, 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 by that sound. That's what it is. Amen for that. Thank you so much, Pastor Nanji. That was beautiful. Very well said. Always put yourself in, put yourself as Adam and Eve. Put yourself in all those figures and you will always come out better. And put yourself in the man's shoes and try to walk a mile in it and you understand more. Better yeah. like Pastor Lewis, any word for me, Baba? Yoish. And he's always muted. No, he's here. He's unmuted, man. <laughs> he's smiling, yeah. please. Go ahead, sir. Just uh, <clears throat> allow God to dwell in us and be a good example to others. Amen. Amen. It's as simple as it is, brothers and sisters, and that's why we I love that. It's a cup you can wear. God loves that. Just allow God. We need to be examples. Thank you, mm -hmm. brother, for good speech, good action, good everything. Hallelujah. Everything. Mommy Bio, you're going to be the good example and close us out today. Unmute yourself. What's Mama Linda? She had to leave. Okay. Yeah, 11. She... Yeah, she called me and she is leaving. So she had to leave. 
those are the expressions we need to hear. Thank you for sharing that she called you. It's important that we share that. That's light, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, Mommy Bio. You can close us out with any pronouncements and then prayer for today. Unless yeah. you have a question that you may want uh, um, Baba Louis, Mama Nanji to address. I, it was a, a beautiful and, and, and inspired the depth of truth, how you live uh, um, by the guidance of Holy Spirit objectively, which is reflect the God image and characteristic in our life to become that reflection and transformation of his spirit. Um, it was a wonderful to come together and continue play as we together, uh, like what the inspire, what the Bible say, that's a, that's a translation, transcreation. Transcendental. To no, transcend, to go like beyond. To start together to the word of the star uh, coming together to. Sorry. Transcendental togetherness? Is that I'm sorry. I, <laughs> mm -hmm. I could, could not grasp the, the word. But, uh, What's the, but ask the question if we can. I don't want you to leave unclarified. What, what is that question you can ask to help, help us? Father Bayo bringing the example, the house stuck. Uh, coming together. Uh, oh, how the constellation, the stars. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. 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 And, and it, to, um, it's a, go ahead. Uh, if we come together in such a way to um, be, be the light and to share together, um, that um, is fire. Yes, um, thank you so much for all of the knowledge everyone share. Helpful for us to live in such a way. Also, it's a very good example. Um, continue as to try. And um, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Bayer. <laughs> Dr. Lewis, your sister, your daughter here just brought something so clear to mind. You know, if we are to travel, Dr. Nanji, through the universe. You cannot be guided by one star. You have to be guided by galaxies of stars. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That is so true. You cannot, mm -hmm. you cannot, because you cannot even see the sun from anywhere in the galaxy. Mm -hmm. So you need mm -hmm. the constellation. Mm -hmm. they, they need the grouping. Amazing. Thank you for that just more clarified why we need to shine together uh, mm -hmm. and come together more. We have more power, more impact, and more people can see and be guided than when there's only one small light, uh, which is also helpful if everything is totally dark. But no, no, thank you, thank you, that's beautiful. All right, this, is, this has been great. Um, Let's, let's, I mean, I mean, I just, I just, I just, uh, let's end as Lewis has, to, has, has shared. Let's go out today, be a good example. Come back. Those of you can come back tomorrow, come or come back on Tuesday and come with some more encouraging example of what, um, what you did more, um, what you have improved on um, for us to, to share more. And so I'm grateful for the music and um, Dr. Lewis, this, this great um, um, app. Uh, it's really um it's it's like uh, right now I can't I can't just stop. It's just beautiful. And so we pray we can utilize it purposefully um to the fullness uh, mm -hmm. of why it was released to us. Uh, so we are using Zoom to the fullness. <laughs> mm -hmm. Any tool that comes, Pastor Nanji, we have to use it to the fullness. Uh, yep. So we are grateful. So Thank you. Unless Pastor Nanji wants to play that music again. Maybe she does. You like the music? Yeah, the music is good. I like it. I like the beat. Dr. Bajit, I truly feel that 
Ya, yeah. about this stuff came right on time. Yes, great, amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. There are no, there are no coincidences or happenstance. That's for all of us. Um, Amen. Oh. Take, take each other as precious gifts. Yeah. This is where the union, the divine union, the yoking is, and we are precious gifts. I pray to each other. So, let's shine yeah. up. Shine, shine on. Shine, shine on. Let all the children be lifted up. Shine, shine on. Hosanna. 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 Let our kings be lifted up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let our kings be lifted up. Oh, Hosanna. Shine, shine, shine on. Let all our kings be lifted up. Let all the kings be lifted up. Let all the kings be lifted up. Let all the kings be let us ring to our story. Let us reverse the trend of everybody seems to be in such a hurry. For everything bumping through the crowd too late to say sorry. Even breastfeeding and made it for life. We seem to skip the cotton and go straight to the bedroom. Soon end up in the courtroom, sitting in limbo. Because we kings and queens almost forgot how to live. We forgot how to use the living room, especially the dining room. My brothers and sisters, food is love. Eating together is more love. What heavenly children do most, let the true love light shine. Shine, shine. Let all God's people be lifted up, shine, shine, shine on. Shine on, Baba Louis. Keep touching people. This is the we are here to reverse. Turn your true life on, shine your life on me. I want to rise out of the despair, breathe fresh air again. Live as kingdom seekers yes. again. Children of a heavenly kingdom right here on earth. Right, right here. where I sit right here with all the giants that dots the night sky. Yeah. I am, we are still heaven's favorite star. Yes, we so are. Let's Shine, 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 Ah, this will change the world, though. Let's oh, yeah. Thank God, thank you. Think of your life today. The highest. Let us not be lifted up. Let us not be lifted up. Oh, God. Let us not be lifted up. Shine, 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 why not, Dr. Lewis? We have to shine. We are going to somebody. Oh, yeah, really. Somebody said we were blessed, and I thought that was a good language. And somehow I find it wasn't working for me. Now I say I'm somehow I'm yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Be more yeah, extraordinary. Yeah, things change. I'm telling I, I, I only have myself to, to be there. I, I cannot express it more than just want to change your language. Change your vibration. Change your energy. Mm -hmm. uh, be mm -hmm. fueled. Let joy be your mm -hmm. fuel. Help people to let joy should be the one you want. You want to give people joy. Let that be the fuel that wakes you up. Not belief. God said, no, let joy. And you will shine. I love you all. I love God. I love God in you. I'm going to dance to this all. <laughs> this energy is coming your way. This is coming your way. Oh, yes. I receive it in advance in Jesus' name. <laughs> 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 you know, in advance. I'm shining only shining forever. Mm -hmm. No, no, no demarcation, no limitation. Anybody does good for you and gives and lift God up in them. Doc. It's so simple. And anybody oh, yeah. that I want to reemphasize this, it just goes for anybody. Tell them anywhere. If you cannot celebrate another person, you don't know God. Period. 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 To talk about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Amen. family, let's keep that spirit of namaste joyful. Namaste, 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 people. Just be oh, good, be better than Father Bayo in speech. You know, sometimes I irritate people because I just I can't, but I have to try, and I'm just speaking. Huh? We want to be they just are irritated because they don't know they don't know God that is they don't see yeah. see the God in you that is in magnificent. That's why they be irritated. They're yeah. irritated because they're ignorant. That's a period. That's so you keep doing what you're doing. 
That's ignorance. That's bad. Not that sin. God be the glory. Let's continue to Hallelujah. be a grateful, humble state that recognizes others. And that's why your joy will continue once you recognize others all the time, not sometime. And not because the man is up top, you recognize it. Especially the ones who are really so-called where you think you are, or even that's the ones. You lift up, mm. Jesus lifted up. When it wasn't lifting up the, the high level, so-called high level people. Let's cut that language. Everybody's a high level person. And uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Namaste. Namaste. Peace and love. Namaste. Um, peace and love. Yeah.